Hey everybody, I'm John Bilfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse here in Owasso, Michigan. Keeping our fingers crossed that we can get back open soon. This pandemic keeps going on, but guess what? I got vaccinated yesterday, so I'm like, whoa, it's almost over, I sure hope. Uh, in the meantime, I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know what date is. It's Saturday, but I don't know like what the date is. So whatever that date is, on the 17th, uh, which is coming up sometime next week, is St. Patrick's Day. And I'm so far behind on making, I wanted to show you how to make homemade corned beef, you know, beef and Guinness stew. Hey, go in here, get one done. And it's shepherd's pie, and it's awesome. And so let's get in the kitchen. Let me show you how I put together my version of this awesome Irish dish shepherd's pie. Here's everything you're gonna need to make this fabulous shepherd's pie. Two and a half pounds of ground lamb. You can use ground beef, but then it's a cottage pie. Don't call it shepherd's pie if you use ground beef because that really irritates me. A cup and a half to two cups of mixed frozen peas and carrots. One cup of minced onion. A little bit of cheddar cheese. A tablespoon each of minced garlic, minced rosemary, and minced thyme. A quarter cup of minced parsley. A couple tablespoons of flour. And a secret ingredient of mine that I use a lot is dark mushroom soy sauce. That works fine. Any dark soy sauce would work fine. And then a great substitute for that is Maggie, which you see the bottle off to the left, available in all grocery stores. It's very much like a dark soy sauce, a flavoring agent used all over the world, and it's awesome. You're going to need some beef broth. You're going to need some mashed potatoes. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And you definitely need a nice bottle of a peated Irish whiskey. So let me show you how I make my mashed potatoes. Now this is very similar to how we make them in the restaurant, for the restaurant. The only thing I'm going to do here a little differently is I'm going to make them a little thinner for the shepherd's pie. So I started with four baker potatoes, russet potatoes, uh, peeled, boiled them in water like you make mashed potatoes, a little salted water. In the meantime, I took a half a pound of butter and a quarter cup of minced garlic and just infused it, warmed it up on the stove so that that garlic flavor got into the butter. So now I've lightly mashed those potatoes. I've strained that butter so that I don't have all the garlic bits in there. And I'm gonna mix this slowly. Now you really don't wanna over mix this because potatoes would get gluey. I never do it this way, I just mash them because normally I like lumpy mashed potatoes, but for this I want a smoother texture. So once we get that going, I'm going to add some cream. I didn't say these were light. <laughs> a little bit of salt. And a pinch of white pepper. So then, right after the mashed potatoes are done, that's when you take your first shot of a nicely peated Irish whiskey. So now let's make our filling. I've heated up just the smallest amount of vegetable oil in the bottom of this pan, just so this doesn't stick. I'm gonna add my lamb. I'm gonna brown this, so while it's browning, I'm gonna go right ahead and add my onions. And we're just gonna cook this till the pink is all cooked out of this lamb. Oh, I love the smell of lamb. Now it's been about eight, maybe 10 minutes. And all that pink is now, I've broken up all the little lumps that I can in this ground lamb. I'm going to go ahead and add our peas and carrots and our garlic. Give that a good stir. Wish you could smell this. I know everybody says that in every food video there is, but I wish you could. Now I'm going to just sprinkle this flour over. Try to spread it around so it doesn't lump. Got a couple tablespoons, tablespoon and a half here. We'll stir that all around. We'll let that cook for a couple minutes just to get that raw flour taste out. And after I've let that cook for just a few minutes, I'm going to pour in my stock. And we just want enough just to cover the meat. Let that come up to a simmer, and I've added our rosemary and our thyme. 
And we're gonna turn this down to low and let it simmer for about a half hour until it thickens up. So this has been simmering on low for about a half hour. I think this is about the right consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and add my parsley. I'm gonna add a little bit of my dark soy sauce. And that's optional. You can just use salt and pepper here, but I like the color that it gives it and certainly uh, the wonderful taste. Just a little bit more. And add a little pepper. I'm going to give it a taste for salt. It needs just a little. I'm going to turn that burner off and let it cool. Now that we're cooling the filling, that's when you take your second shot of nicely peated Irish whiskey. Now I put this into a 3.6 quart casserole dish. At the restaurant, I do individual servings in little casserole dishes like this. But today I've put it in this new lodge casserole dish that I've got. And now we're just gonna go in and top it with our potatoes. I want to be careful to spread the potatoes without mixing up that meat into them. Then we just want to put some lines in it with the top of a fork. Just makes it get some really nice browned edges on it. I'm going to sprinkle it with just a little of my cheddar cheese. And we're gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven for about a half hour. And after 35 minutes in a 350 degree oven, here's our beautiful shepherd's pie. So this is when you take your third shot of a nicely peated Irish whiskey. This stuff's awesome. Hey, thanks again for watching another semi-exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. We'll see you again soon with more dishes from all around the world. I got a guy looking at me through the window. Ah, the fame.